Hi, this is your math prof, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to solve this equation by doing a little trick, okay? This is to help you remember how to do distribution. I'm going to rewrite the equation so that it makes more sense. 2 times b plus 4 plus negative 1 because this minus sign acts like a negative 1 times 9 plus b equals negative 6. Okay, now I'm going to multiply the number. Distribution is multiplying the number in front of the parentheses by the terms inside the parentheses. So I'll multiply this 2 by b and 2 multiply it by 4. I'll take the negative 1 and multiply by 9 and the negative 1 and multiply by b. So 2b plus 8 plus negative 9 plus negative 1b equals negative 6. Now I'm going to rearrange the terms so that like terms are next to each other. The two b terms are like terms and the two number terms are like terms. In other words, they're alike. So 2b plus negative 1b plus 8 plus negative 9 equals negative 6. Now I'm going to switch colors for a minute so that I can put a kind of an oval around the like terms. Okay, now I'll go back to my color. If I have two b's and I add a negative one b, that's like having two dollars and I write a check for one dollar, which takes one dollar away from, what, from the two dollars I have in my checking account. Two dollars plus writing a check for one dollar is going to leave me with one dollar. So this is two b's plus negative one b will give me one b. Then plus 8 plus negative 9, again, if you've got $8 in your checking account and you write a check for $9, what are you going to have? You're going to be $1 overdrawn, negative 1. That equals negative 6 because that's what the equation says. Okay. Now, 1 times b is b, that's b plus negative 1 equals negative 6. I need to get b by itself, but my b is not by itself. It has a negative 1 added on to it. The way to get b by itself is to add the opposite of negative 1 to both sides of the equation. Why? Because negative 1 plus 1 equals 0. Negative 1 plus 1 equals 0. So these guys suddenly equal 0. I'm left with b plus 0 equals negative 6 plus 1. And if you put this in a calculator, it'll tell you that equals negative 5. Okay, so coming back to the left side, what is b plus 0? It's just b. b plus 0 is just b. So the answer is b equals negative 5, which is precisely what the problem says. Okay, talk to you later.